Welcome back to Keep It Raw Boxing. This is Cypher Box. And as you have already probably heard, Canelo Alvarez is done with Triple G. Oscar De La Hoya did an interview with ESPN where he stated basically the Canelo train has left the station. Basically saying that they're done trying to negotiate and reason with uh, Triple G regarding his 50-50 split demand. Uh, as you already know, Triple G says he's no longer happy with the original deal for the re for the rematch that they had back in May, which was a 65-35 split. He now feels he's deserved of 50-50. Oscar De La Hoya has basically turned around and said, no, you ain't getting 50-50. You're never going to get 50-50. Take the deal that's on the table or we're done. And he's, he's basically turned around and said, that's it. It's over. He's not mess He's not going to wait around or waste any more time on Triple G. We're gonna Canelo's going to move on. And it looks like they've reached out to Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing and they're looking to set up a fight with Daniel Jacobs in September. Now, the quotes that I've got are from an article in on uh, sorry BoxingScene.com and they took it from ESPN. And this is what De La Hoya had to say. He's stubborn and wanting 50-50 and it's not going to happen. The Canelo train has left the station. So... There's a deal on the table for Daniel Jacobs to fight September 15th against Canelo. Eddie loves the idea. He he loves the fight. Daniel Jacobs loves the fight. And we love the fight as well. So we're just moving forward and making sure that Canelo has the toughest dance partner possible for September 15th. He also goes on to say, he actually also says in the article that De La Hoya, when he was speaking to ESPN, said that he was willing to give Golovkin a 60-40 split but not 50-50. Here's what uh, Oscar had to say. What people are not understanding is I'm not going to come off my demands for the rematch, De La Hoya said. The fact that Triple G is stubborn on, on a 50-50 split is ludicrous. It's never going to happen. He wants 50-50 and it's never going to happen. We, ha we had already come to terms and they had the contracts a long time several weeks and now he wants 50 50 we were willing to budge but now i'm fed up with this and i've decided to move on so we're talking to eddie hearn about jacobs let's make the best deal possible the deal is on the table for daniel jacobs and hopefully we can get hopefully we can get it signed sooner than later so we can start promoting the fight Okay, there you have it. So De La Hoya has basically said that no 50-50 offer. I'm willing to budge on it and give you 60-40, but that's about it. Take it or leave it or we're off. And that's exactly what's happened. Now, if you watch my last video, I talked about this as well. The A side in this whole situation is Canelo Alvarez. I talked about pay-per-view numbers. Yeah, I talked about how before Canelo, the fight against Canelo Alvarez, for the first fight between Triple G and Canelo Alvarez, that Triple G only had two pay-per-view fights. One against David Lemieux, which only got him 153,000 pay-per-view buys. And then the other one was against Daniel Jacobs, which got him 170,000 pay-per-view buys. Total that together, that's 323 pay-per-view buys. I used examples for Canelo Alvarez in terms of his pay-per-view numbers. There were six fights in total uh, that I referred to. And those fights totaled to 5.35 million pay-per-view buys so that just alone tells you who's the a-side in this affair now i said in my last video as well that triple g there's no way he was going to get 50 50 oscar de la hoya and golden boy promotions are the ones who are financially and this is where people don't understand this is the business point of view is that they are financially pushing the fight yeah, they're financially invested in the fight. They're throwing the money out there. They're making the offer. So why are they going to give you a 50-50 split? They're not. Because they're putting all the finances into it. They're promoting the fight. They're going to ask for, they're going to take the lion's share. So at best, you're not going to get 50-50. So use a bit of sense. And actually in your head, you should be saying to yourself, well, I'm probably not going to get 50-50. Oscar, but I'd want a little bit more. So I want 40%. And clearly, Oscar De La Hoya has made it clear and said that he would give Triple G 40%. He's willing to budge a little bit. But there's no way he's getting 50-50. That's it. 
Oscar De La Hoya also in another article, um, which uh, was on Boxing Scene, I think, the other day, where he said that when, when it comes to Canelo Alvarez, it will never be a 50-50 split with anyone. And then why is that? Because Canelo Alvarez is the boxing superstar out there. He's the number one boxing superstar. He's the biggest star in boxing at the moment. So you can't go and make these ridiculous demands. Yes, I know a lot of Triple G fans out there are going to be saying, oh, it's not fair. Triple G's got three of the belts or four belts. If you include the IBO, um, he's unified champion. That doesn't matter when it comes to the numbers. What, what, when it comes to the split, when it comes to A side, B side, it's about how many pay-per-view numbers have you sold throughout your career so far? Who's got the bigger numbers? Who brings in the, who's the bigger draw? And not only that, yeah, who's the bigger star? Who's a global superstar out of these two guys? And that's, unfortunately for Triple G, that's Canelo Alvarez. So, in my opinion, take the 40% because that's all you're going to get. And I did say in my last uh, video as well that I was starting to wonder whether Triple G was kind of pricing himself out. Maybe he doesn't want the fight. You know? So, you know, I've been very critical, obviously, of uh, um, Canelo Alvarez with his failed drug test and stuff like that. So it's not like I haven't given him, the, given him that criticism over that whole situation. But the facts remain. He is the A-side. Golden Boy Promotions are the ones promoting and financing the fight. So therefore... You cannot go in there asking for a 50-50 split. So if you want the fight, if you really want the fight, if Triple G wants it, take the 40%. That's still a big payday for him. It's a massive payday for him. Yeah? But there's no way you're getting 50-50. If you want a 50-50 split, or if you want the lion's share of it, you better talk to your promoter and manager, Tom Loeffler, and say, hey, front the money for the fight. Let's, let's make an offer back to them. But they can't because they can't make that kind of offer. So therefore, you know, you've got to, you've got to accept the 40% if you want to have that fight. And it's 40%, that's 5% more. Originally it was 65, 35, but clearly Oscar De La Hoya says, I'll make it 40%. So, you know what I mean? You're still getting a little bit more than, than you did, you know, last time round, or what was originally agreed in the lot for the May rematch that was supposed to happen. The money's, you know what I mean? You're still going to make a big, you're going to make a large amount of money. And the rematch is probably going to be worth more. So, I don't see why Triple G's, you know, but I, I have to agree, I don't understand why he's been so stubborn. He's not in no position to be asking for 50-50. I've said this before. And like I said, no one, don't be saying, jumping on here trying to say, make it out like I'm biased or anything like that. Because like I said, I've been critical of Canelo and the failed drug test as well. So, this is just me giving my honest, straight up opinion of what I think of this situation. Take the 40%, make the fight. What do I think about the Daniel Jacobs fight with Canelo Alvarez? I think it's a great fight. I would definitely watch that fight. Um, I'm sure everyone else out there will be. Daniel Jacobs, a very good fighter. Um, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, felt that he beat Triple G. Um, but you know what I mean? And we wanted to see a rematch with that immediately, but Triple G didn't want to do that. But hey, look, forget that. If, the, if they can uh, agree terms with Eddie Hearn, and make that fight, you know, definitely it'd be a great fight to see in September. You know, Canelo Alvarez versus uh, Daniel Jacobs. Be interesting to see how this story unfolds. Um, that's all I've got for you at this moment in time, guys. As always, like, share and subscribe. Until next time, this is Cypherbox reminding you to keep it real.